Senator Faulkner. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President. Uh, well, in June uh, of this year, I spoke uh, in the chamber about uh, Ben Phillips and the uh, Tigers' successful completion of the 100-kilometre Melbourne Oxfam Trail Walk uh, for this year. And I'm pleased uh, to inform the Senate this evening uh, that the Tigers team successfully completed the Sydney Trail Walk over the last weekend in August in a solid 31 hours and 46 minutes. And I also thought I would touch on uh, this evening the important work uh, of Oxfam in helping some of the world's poorest and most vulnerable people and um, perhaps encourage others to support Oxfam and possibly even encourage uh, one or two to give the uh, Oxfam trail walk a go themselves. Now, Madam Acting Deputy President, the 100 kilometre uh, Sydney uh, trail walk is uh, a challenging event. Uh, this year's uh, Tigers team uh, was made up of uh, yours truly uh, on my ninth walk, uh, John Paul uh, Grimmer on his second walk, and debutante walkers uh, Greg Bell and Josh Josh Jenner, and um, we certainly faced some considerable challenges before we even set foot uh, on the track. Two of our team's most experienced walkers were forced to withdraw uh, due to unavoidable circumstances just days before the start. Uh, for the first time, our team called on two reserve walkers to fill the breach. Uh, neither uh, John Paul or Josh uh, had the chance to uh, prepare for the event, and I think in the circumstances their efforts were magnificent. I'd particularly like to acknowledge the effort of uh, John Paul Grimmer, who received uh, the call-up and travelled from Melbourne to compete just two days before the start of the walk. Uh, before the start of the event at uh, Brooklyn, the uh, presentation of the Melbourne Oxfam Overcoming the Odds Award was made to totally blind Tigers trail walker Ben Phillips. Uh, senators might recall that I spoke about Ben after he conquered the 100-kilometre Melbourne trail work walk earlier this year. Uh, ben is totally blind. He works as a uh, child carer, studies, uh, also studies child care at university and plays blind cricket for Burwood, New South Wales and Australia. He's a real achiever and, it's, and he was very deserving of the Overcoming the Odds uh, Award. And he also uh, won uh, the Pride of Australia medal uh, for courage and uh, I certainly would like to take this opportunity to publicly congratulate him for that. Well, inspired by Benny's spirited award acceptance speech, uh, the Tigers set off on the Sydney Trail Walk. The 100-kilometre track starts on the banks of the Hawkesbury River in Parsley Bay. It winds its way through uh, the very rugged and pitch but picturesque terrain of the Karingai Chase National Park, through the suburban streets of St Ives, down through what could only be descri described as goat tracks of the Karingal, uh, Karingal National Park, and finally walkers cross the Spit Bridge and pass Balmoral Beach, then climb to the uh, finish line at George's Heights Oval in Mossman. Madam Acting Deputy President, the walk was tough. There were slips strains, blisters, twists, whinges and tantrums. But the Tigers dug deep and finished the event in a very commendable 31 hours and 46 minutes. And so far, our team has raised $16,560 for this event 
and we hope uh, with still uh, more to come. Madam Acting Deputy President, 2,200 trail walkers assisted by 750 Oxfam volunteers and hundreds more support crew participated in this year's Sydney trail walk. The event has so far raised over $3 million for Oxfam. Financial support goes to Oxfam Australia's projects around the world, such as helping orphans in South Africa, tackling uh, development issues in the Mekong Delta and improving living conditions in Indigenous communities here in Australia. Oxfam provides direct assistance to families and communities, equipping them with the basic tools to achieve positive change in their lives. Oxfam's projects aim to provide communities with clean water and basic levels of sanitation, education and health. Oxfam responds to emergencies by providing uh, life-saving aid, uh, support and protection, often in war zones and in the aftermath of devastating natural disasters. Oxfam is currently on the ground in Sindh province uh, of Pakistan, which has uh, once again been devastated by floods. Many parts of Sindh province were still recovering uh, from last year's uh, floods uh, when they were inundated again. Madam Acting Deputy President, Oxfam estimates that 5.3 million people are currently affected by flooding in Pakistan. 4.2 million hectares of land are underwater and 1.59 million hectares of standing crops have been destroyed. Oxfam's immediate response has been to provide uh, fresh drinking water, hygiene kits and to assist with search and rescue operations. And this works vital and it's strongly supported by funds raised through uh, events like the Oxfam Trail Walk. Uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, I would like to uh, take uh, this opportunity uh, to thank those who made uh, this year's uh, Sydney uh, Trail Walk possible for the Tigers team. Uh, many thanks um, uh, go again to uh, Maxi, who provided a great deal of the uh, support uh, and organisation for us. Uh, also, uh, sincere thanks to our uh, tireless uh, support crew, Liz, Kim, Claire, Louise, uh, Bonnie uh, and Catherine. And uh, special thanks, as always, go to the Balmain Tigers Rugby League Football Club, who uh, so generously support our team uh, every year, albeit with the disappointment of the result in the recent <laughs> semi-final, most undeserved. But, but, uh, but uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, it's always important, I think, to acknowledge um, when, when football clubs do, uh, do good things in the community. I think many of us know they are, they, from time to time, uh, football clubs and football players are often criticised, but I want to tonight to, as I have on so many occasions, uh, uh, properly acknowledge the support that uh, the Balmain Tigers uh, club uh, have given uh, our team, have given Oxfam. Uh, it's, uh, it's a credit to, uh, to them and all involved uh, with them. But of course, uh, finally, I must uh, thank all our supporters and donors, some of whom are present in the chamber tonight. They have, uh, as you know, Madam Acting Deputy President, uh, generously supported the Tigers year in and year out. Uh, they do so much uh, to support uh, the important work of Oxfam and uh, I, on behalf of the Tigers team, would just like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank them all. Thank you.